Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this video we will study about seawater reverse osmosis intake pumps. Seawater intake system contains intake pump station and priming station. Intake pumps are installed with duty pump and standby pump which will transfer the seawater to the pre-treatment. The pumps are located at low level for easier evacuation of the suction pipeline. Each pump is protected via a level switch and a pressure switch, as well as with expansion joints on the suction side. Priming system designed to remove the air accumulated in the intake suction headers enabling for a proper and safe operation of the intake pumps. Apart from the initial priming, this system will be always available and will work whenever the water level drops below a preset value or with the startup of the intake pumps, it consists of vacuum tank, service water tank, priming pump and injector. The pump and injector is installed as duty and standby. The priming unit is designed for evacuation of the intake line within 30 minutes, the operation of the priming unit is controlled via level switches. Intake pumps activate priming in two cases, case 1 intake pump starts an either priming tank low level switch CL001 or respective pump low level CL003 are not ok, case 2 intake pump is in hot standby, valve V3 is open and intake pump is ready for immediate start. Priming pump starts when priming tank low level switch CL001 activated and valve V1 will open. Priming pump stop when priming tank high level switch CL002 activated and valve V1 will close. Priming pump start when respective intake pump low level activated and valve V1 will open. Priming pump stop when respective intake pump low level deactivated with time delay and valve V2 will close. Intake pumps are displayed in the intake pump screen. The intake pumps increase the raw water pressure and feed to dual media filter DMF. pumps can be controlled either in PLC or VDU mode. The pump station consists mainly of the following equipment, intake pumps, automatic pneumatic butterfly valve at the suction side of the pumps, pressure transmitter and pressure switch upstream of the pumps in the common suction header, pressure switches downstream of each pump. In the common discharge header a number of instruments are installed, measurements of residual chlorine and oil of the raw water, pressure measurement, flow measurement for flow proportional dosing of chlorine, acid and ferric chloride. The pumps are protected by pressure switch flow on both suction and discharge side, the pump to be started manually or automatically, in auto mode pump start automatically based on lower running hours. Thank you for watching this video.